In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, it says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. My vow to you is this. Just as Jesus' love for the church, my love for you will always be unwavering, faithful, understanding, constant, and enduring. I will do my best to make sure our marriage grows spiritually, physically, and mentally daily. I promise to always be a strong shoulder for you to lean on and that you never wake up uncertain of my love for you. I promise to always respect you as my husband and the spiritual leader God has called you to be. I promise to love you unconditionally through all of the seasons of our marriage. But most importantly, I promise to kneel before God in prayer with you and for you throughout our marriage. It is my greatest honor in life that you chose me to be your wife. Genesis chapter 2, and the Lord God said, It's not good that a man should be alone. We thank you for establishing marriage between a man and a woman. And Father, we pray you'll bless the remainder of this ceremony. In Jesus' name, amen. by the power vested to me in the state of Tennessee and being an ordained minister of the gospel. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. I pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Blair.